hello everyone welcome to this video in this video i quickly wanted to show you how to create a public ip address in azure using azure PowerShell and how to upgrade uh, from a basic sku to a standard sku so there are some differences between those two and the standard sku comes with some additional security features and improved performance so take a look uh, and do some research on how they are different in this video let's just create a basic SKU public IP address first and then uh, assign that is statically and then upgrade that to a standard SKU okay so the code is pretty simple and if you do some research on your Azure portal you probably find a code that are very very similar so we definitely need a resource group and a location wherever we want to deploy our resources and first we're going to create a resource uh, resource group and it will will pass that command new is a resource group and name we're going to pass test rg and location we're going to use the west us for our purpose so let's just copy this one and let's see uh, let's just go we're just going to use the cloud shell today so this command is just succeeded so i if i go to my resource groups i should be able to see a test rg pretty soon so refresh let's see it sometimes it takes just a little bit of time so if you just immediately if you don't see it just don't feel don't be disheartened it will show up okay i promise so click again still not there but again just uh, give it give it a little bit of time uh, because it says it succeeded okay uh, we're just going to continue so next creating ip address is also pretty simple uh, we're going to create a variable pub ip and we're going to name this as my basic public ip and as i said we're going to start with a basic sku so sku we're going to say it's a basic and the the basic sku it's uh, you can use both static or dynamic allocation so in this one we're just going to stick to the static allocation for that particular ip address once i have these variables configured it's again another uh, partial command new az public ip address then we're going to provide the resource group name then name of the public ip address and then location and allocation method we're going to also uh, pass the location and sku would be the sku so the basic allocation and static sku so let's just copy this and uh, let's go back to azure let's try one more time and see it in the portal if we can see our test vnet rg test rg so it's still not showing up over here so let's just stay it's again as i said azure just sometimes takes so long uh, to uh, to see your resource groups but don't be disheartened it's there okay uh, this is it says test rg west us and it succeeded so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, run the next set of commands so this one should create my public ip and uh, it the name of the public ip is going to be my basic public ip so let's try this command and see what's going on and uh, it's uh, it looks like it's all done uh, it's got a static ip and uh, it's assigned one ip address 10 112 221 27 it's ipv4 address and looks like this deployment is also successful and it's used this particular resource group all right, let's try this one test rg let's see if this is picking up the resource group name yet or not it's still not picking up the resource resource group name okay it's fine we'll, we'll just keep we'll keep doing our work subscriptions we are working with the prod subscription so let's just select that one and see what we have refresh and it's still not here this is unbelievable that uh, sometimes as you take so long to update your portal all right anyway so we have uh, two comments both of them are successful 
and so the next one that we are gonna do now we have this but I really want to show you that this IP address uh, let's IP okay my basic public IP this is showing up in here so let's see what we have okay <laughs> So here you see, here is now showing the resource group. So let's just go to the resource group in here. So in this resource group that we created, finally we found it in our portal. Uh, in this resource group, let's verify that's uh, deployed in the West US. And we have created the my basic public IP using our parcel command okay so all of that looks pretty good so this is the one the command that we ran it created the my basic public ip and uh, let's look at some more to our ip address so let's just come back over here let's just click on this one and let's just see uh, this ku it's a uh, basic tier region now and ip address that's uh, validated for 40 112 uh, 221.27 so that's the public IP that it's got created and uh, activity log you don't need you don't need any of that configuration it's a static that's how we assign we didn't make it a dynamic one and you can configure other things like idle time timeout and DNS name if you like uh, we don't need to configure that one at the moment over here you see it's again uh, your uh, SKU is basic and here also you can validate the IP address uh, locks we don't assign any locks in here alerts metrics we don't need so all of that looks pretty good so we can if we want we can take this and assign this IP address to one of the virtual uh, network interface card and then start using this one but our goal for this tutorial is to upgrade that IP address to a standard SKU okay so to do that we gotta assign few new variables so new SKU is gonna be the standard so we're gonna get the public IP okay and we're gonna run this particular command okay uh, get public IP address name and then resource group name so that will take the IP address store that IP address in here and then we're gonna assign we'll update this IP address SKU like this IP dot SKU dot name is new SKU and then we're gonna run this command finally set easy public IP address dash public IP address and we're gonna pass that public IP address in here and that should do the trick so let's just run these commands copy come back over here and then down here we're gonna paste all of that and uh, it's giving me some issues name resource group name the argument is null or empty resource group name so let's come back over here which one is okay resource group name uh, rg rg should be already there the test rg so let's just let's just uh, run this like this okay so we know where it's breaking okay new SKU ran just fine then we're gonna get this one okay and this one it is breaking I cannot have argument name okay, name is name is capital N that what you have to do most likely so name no it's still not there so name is did we assign any name uh, let's see name okay I don't have any variable that is name at the moment so that is the problem get public IP address name is gonna be the name of the public IP address so most likely uh, this is gonna be the public IP so instead of passing that I'm just gonna pass this one and see what happens okay so this is what I'm gonna pass copy and paste 
and let's see if that works so that did and uh, then what I'll do I'll copy this one and this one get uh, assigning the SKU and finally let's just set the SKU to the standard mode okay so let's just put it over here and hit enter and let's see if that does the trick okay so here it says succeeded it's still uh, a, a static IP address and uh, here SKU now you see that it's a standard and tier regional so previously if you go over there you see the last time when we ran it was basic and regional and now this time we have successfully upgraded our IP address to a standard SKU alright so what I'll do I'll give you all the commands in my video that you can use now just come back to the portal and I'm going to rephrase this one more time uh, go down to my basic public IP and I want to make sure that SKU is now changed to standard mode and you can go to configuration one more time again and uh, here it's static so you don't need to really do anything properties should also show you that it's a it's a standard uh, it's using the standard SKU so that's about it okay before I go I want to go to the resource group and I just want to see if this uh, resource group is actually sh showed up in here refresh this is unbelievable that it's still my resource group is still not shown uh, before I uh, I'll just select all subscriptions just to double verify that okay so this is where the subscription got created okay so uh, no so that's uh, that's a different test RG in a different subscription so no so uh, what I think uh, is just taking a lot of time to create the to to show up this this resource group in my portal view for some reason so let me just go back so this is the subscription that I'm using and now look at that now finally I have the test RG in here which is part of the fraud so if I now go in here I should see that particular resource which is my basic IP that we created using the PowerShell and now it's using the standard SKU. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, keep learning as you have fun. Bye bye.